Uh, this video is going to be uh, where I was uh, looking at the property uh, at one of the properties in Florida of my in-laws and uh, to kind of show y'all what their you know what what the work would be so I was gonna address a few comments uh, nothing bad really you know uh, but just a, a reality check really uh, so on, on I've had a couple guys come in the comments and they're saying, no, you can rent a skid steer for, you know, $400 a, a day or, or something like that, $450, something like that. And um, you may be able to. I, I haven't seen that. Uh, now, they'll advertise that, but um, you actually getting out the door at that number is is well it's not gonna happen man not down here where i'm at not for a machine that i need now i can't just take any machine over there uh you know to do that job if i were to rent one down there so i would need a track machine uh as big as the one i got and uh it has a lot to do with uh not just the cost of rental, but there's a lot of un unknown and, and unseen things that you'll see uh, in this video uh, when I put the images of, a, of what renting a skidster actually cost uh, from Home Depot uh, and or from Sunbelt, which are the two main places around here where I'm at. I'm sure you might be able to find it cheaper and it might be, be more. The main thing is the power and can you pick it up or not? If you have to have it delivered, it's ugly. It's really ugly. Uh, so for, and y'all will see the images here. So for, hey, excuse me. So a skid steer equivalent to mine is around $600 uh, a day. And like I said, some people were saying you could get them for 400 well, I haven't seen that yet. Home Depot advertises that, but they don't have a track machine. And the, uh, the one that they're renting for that is not uh, $400 by the time you get out the door. $400, if you have to have it delivered, well, that's another, you know, uh, probably $200. And if you have to have it pick it up, it's another $200. Uh, at Sunbelt to rent a skid steer uh, like mine or bigger uh, and you if you cannot haul it I want to say it's like $1,300 a day so the notion that you know you can rent a skid steer like mine for $400, $450 a day it's, it's, it's simply not true really uh, and I know people you know they think that uh, but go try to rent a machine like I have uh, with the with the high flow and the GPM required to run my attachments you know I haven't seen it and I'm not saying I'm not saying they're not out there they're just not out here where I'm at uh, I would find it really hard to believe that you could actually go rent one and then bring it to your house and rent it for a day and take it back and you'd be at $450. I just don't see, even if it is a wheel machine. I know you're not going to do that with a track machine. So I just kind of wanted to come on here and, and talk about that for a minute. These rental yards, uh, they're entire, they, they, they have all kind of after you get in the cycle fees. <laughs> I mean, they got an environmental fee, $175 or some shit. They got insurance, insurance another eighty-five or ninety dollars. Uh, some belt charge is about two fifty, two sixty to bring it to uh, to the site, uh, and the site ain't even uh, twenty miles away. Uh, so you're just about paying. Well, you're actually paying more for the delivery of the machine and all the uh, surcharges. And picking up the machine than you are for the actual machine so um, I just kind of wanted to come on here real quick uh, I'm gonna go back in here and put the video the rest of the video together uh, and give y'all some uh, well some real numbers and y'all will see them in this video 
uh, of what it actually would cost for me to rent a machine from Home Depot like mine or you know or rent from Sunbelt like mine um, in my area but of course you know I can I can haul the machine so it's never going to cost me as much as it would somebody that can't haul the machine but a lot of people that are renting a machine for around their house or you know at their mother-in-law's or whatever well they don't have a trailer like I have so that automatically gonna put you double up you know and then the convenience and everything too of uh, of renting a machine I don't really care what anybody says renting a machine uh, a, a skid steer is not uh, as lucrative as having your own I mean it ain't even it really ain't even a debate uh, I've heard a lot of people come over and say oh man you can make plenty of money with a skid steer you can just rent them man you'll be spending your life renting and all you guys that watch the channel know that I don't I'm not a big fan of rental uh, I will and I will again uh, but it's probably going to be on something that broke down on a job where I just need to get done with the job but since I've had Chucky that ain't been no issue y'all not none at all so yeah but uh I hope everybody had a good weekend uh I did I haven't done anything I I, I did that little bit of work yesterday but uh, I may take the skits there over there tomorrow and do some, do some more work on that bamboo site, you know, where I started at. I just got to kind of see how the weather's going to do. It, 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 it's, I don't know how muddy it is over there, but it's pretty, it, it's, it's still a little bit wet. It might get better if it'll get really cold tonight. I uh, hope everybody has a good week and, uh, I'll, I'll put a couple videos out this week. Uh, and yeah, y'all know what it is. It's deuces, man. Deuces. Okay, guys. So I'm down here at my uh, mother-in-law's place. Uh, we're right on the beach uh, down in uh, Carabelle, Florida. So they they're wanting me to, or they're wanting they're wanting this all this stuff cleaned up right here. I don't really know the best way to do it. Uh, and they, I mean, they got money, they'll pay me. It ain't like they're trying to get me to do something for free. Uh, but I really don't know of the best way to do this. Y'all look at this right here. This is their front yard, man. Right. But y'all can see now, my father-in-law is saying that the ground, you know, you can't get on the bank there. Let's see, my brush cutter go in here and cut that, man. Just knock all that down. Uh, they just getting to where they can't do it anymore. Uh, I don't really see where I would get messed up on this side getting the bank. Uh, and that ain't the only, you know, all this, uh, this whole, this whole pond bank needs to be cleared. And you wouldn't want to do this in the summertime. Uh, so my thinking is like, okay, what would be the best way for me to do it to where it doesn't cost them a fortune? You know, bringing my, uh, bringing my Kubota down here, man, it's a, it's, it's a five hour drive. I don't know that I'd want to do that. I think I might come out better, maybe bringing my attachments down here and then renting a machine locally. Uh, the machines around here are like $600 a day. Uh, and more if you if you if you got if you if they got to deliver it to you same as up there and they do have a place that's about 20 minutes from here uh and they have a uh well they rent out the t66 so that'd be a uh, powerful enough i don't know if it has high flow but uh i could bring my and all this too y'all by the way just the picture wanted to kind of see how neat these look look See how neat that is? And then look, wow, it's terrible. Just need to come in here and just raise some hell, man. Uh -oh. Yeah. 
all this. What is that? Is that some kind of... See how the ground looks like it's really high right there? I think that's a palm tree. That's... See, just go between all the trees, man. Y'all think it would be better for me to rent one from down here or bring mine? If I bring mine, then I won't have no room to bring all my attachments. Y'all see, look, if you're going to come down here and do any work, I'm just going to want to power away the driveway, too. Yeah. So we bring the, uh, the grapple bucket, the new cutter, right? The flat bucket, and the power rake. That's what we need. And I could do just a whole, and then some hand tools. Uh, I don't know what happened here. That's pretty bad right there. I didn't realize the ground was that soft. Uh, but how do y'all think would be the best way for me to do it i think well really the only way to do it and me to because i gotta make a i gotta make money too i can't do it for free but I, I, it'll it's a five hour drive from my house so if i come down here it's gonna be a three or four and they don't want me to do it for nothing they got money they're not you know they just want to they just want to make sure they don't get ripped off and, and somebody do a good job uh they had a couple people come out here and look at it, but nobody has uh showed back up to do the work or nothing so see and over there you just have to kind of get a feel for everything you might not be even be able to uh yeah i got some aerial view too with the drone so uh but i, I can get this whole bank with the brush cutter and when i get in the woods i could i don't know i just don't know but you got to get this this bank needs to be cleared off this would be so pretty y'all if it looked neat like that all right see i could get i could get right here with the brush cutter with the power rake so power rake yeah rent, rent their machine down here and then me bring all my attachments because if i bring my machine then i won't be able to bring one or two attachments